Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Bolts of Town. Today, I'm gonna be talking about skateboarding. Because, like, last week or so, my mother bought me a skateboard to keep me occupied during the school holidays. That was pretty cool. So, we went to Kmart and we bought a skateboard. It was like 40 bucks. It's pretty cool. It's just a plain black skateboard. And it has some random blue and green designs on it. It's very wobbly. It has white wheels. Four of them. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be so wobbly. Because whenever I stand on it, like, this is the skateboard, I stand on it. And then, like, whenever I try to move, like, it goes a lot like that. I do not fall off, it just wobbles. I've tried screwdrivering it, but it does not tighten. Is that supposed to happen? Comment down below. Um, but yes, I've been learning how to skateboard. Some of you guys have given me tips on skateboarding, so thank you for those. I have tried it. Um, now for the past few days, I have been going outside. I have been practicing my roller skating. I mean, my skateboarding by um standing on it by wearing flat shoes. Like my combat boots. My combat boots are flat. And they have a lot of friction on it. The friction from my boots and my skateboard. They work. They lock in. They they it's it's like it's like that friction. I mean it just it it just it kind of like scrapes together. It's very cool. We're learning about friction and shot. I'm chewing on gum by the way. But yes, I've been getting on my skateboard wearing flat shoes. Um, I don't actually need to hold on to the wall or the car anymore because I'm just, I can balance. That's pretty cool. I'm great at roller skating, so skateboarding is quite easy. Um, but I am standing on it and I, with my, with my, what side is this hand, this is the right side. I'm standing with my right foot in front and my left foot pushing and I can go forwards or backwards or forwards is easier though today it's pretty cool and today was a pretty good day for practicing roller skating because I learned how to turn oh I already knew how to turn but I'm getting better at turning now I can do a full 360 spin twice without getting off it is cool um, I'm still not going on the proper concrete yet. Right now I'm on flat concrete. I've been practicing for 10 minutes a day and then doing like an hour of roller skating or something. I don't really know. Also, I have a tip for people, other people like me who cannot focus on one thing at a time. Um, or if you cannot focus on one thing, you need to have multiple things. Say, if you're doing roller skating, bring out your Nintendo Switch and play Animal Crossing. And roller skate while you play Animal Crossing. And if that isn't enough to keep you occupied, like me, then bring out your MP3 player and headphones. Whenever I'm going roller skating now, I roller skate in circles. I have my Nintendo Switch, I'm playing Animal Crossing. My island is going very good. It's now four stars. I've been hyperfixated with Animal Crossing for five days now I've made well over a million bells which sounds epic like I can spend it on a bunch of things but no it all went into my home one and building a brick bridge and a brick staircase and another home one I have multiple because I already paid off one of them and now I have another anyways what was I oh, yeah that's right safe boring but yes, I'm listening to Alisana as well. I mean, whoops, Alice Anna. Isn't that the correct pronunciation for the band? It's not Alisana, it's a Alice Anna. Mm. And I'm doing that as I'm playing Animal Crossing, as I'm roller skating, after I go skateboarding. It's very fun. I enjoy it. Hmm. But yes, if you have any other skateboarding tips or roller skating tips, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear more about that. 
I'm someday I'm gonna become a really really good roller skater skateboarder skater person I need to learn how to rollerblade because like I remember the first time I ever remember ever getting in contact with a skating device appliance thingy it was it was a few years ago um would have been about eight nine whatever and my friend my best friend Zara she came around to my house she brought her her and her brother's roll rollerblades and we went rollerblading I fell down I cried and that made me feel sad and then I was dedicated to roller skating and skate learning how to skate so I bought some roller skates and I practiced in my living room and I got better and better and better and now I've been doing it for years I'm epic at it my neighbor my my four-year-old neighbor she watches me roll skates and she says that I'm a very good skater and I and like toddlers are always honest and like children young children they're very 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 honest well I wasn't but most of the time they're very honest and so I think that that's proof that I'm a good skater um, also I've been obsessed with watching The Good Doctor as well that is literally my comfort show now I love it I've been binge watching it as well for the past few days and because like I used to watch it with my mom and then I started watching it by myself even though I'd already seen most of it then I'm going to rewatch it again and again and again, until I get bored of it, which is usually with my hyperfixations, it's either they last a few days and they go away, or they last for years and they never go away. Like my Blackville Pride side fixation, it's been going on for well over a year. This is a serious kind of wrong. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all my updates. Bye bye. Pew.